What's something unexplainable that you've experienced? One time I was at the servo filling my car up at night time and there was a hospital across the road. A man with no shirt on wearing proper suit pants and formal leather shoes ran from the dark across the road into the servo. He was in there for five minutes then sprinted back into the dark. I walk in to pay for my petrol and the guy serving tells me that the random guy in the suit pants paid for my $50 tank of petrol, I had so many questions. I bought one pair of Bluetooth earbuds about six months ago. I received one pair. About four months ago, I went to use them and they wouldn't auto connect to my phone. Weird. I paired them and there were two pairs now. Later I found my other pair sitting on my desk. I've been quarantining alone. No idea where the extra set came from. When my grandmother passed away, my brother was living out of state, so my parents and I cleaned out the house and I moved in. We found a suitcase that my dad thought had the last of my grandfather's clothes. My grandfather died a few years before my brother and I were born, but I've always felt a strong connection to him, so I was really curious to see inside the suitcase. How big was my grandfather? What did he smell like? Unfortunately, the suitcase was locked. Dad said he'd look for the key, but really, we stuffed it under the bed and forgot about it. A couple of years go by, and I stumble across the suitcase again. Dad hadn't found the key, but my brother has been learning a bit about locksmithing. I text him and ask if he would be interested in trying to open the suitcase. I'm still curious about what's inside. The suitcase was locked. I tried to open it multiple times, multiple ways. Couldn't get the thing open. I took it over to my parents for my brother to try to open on his next visit. My dad and I were standing outside talking when my dad falls silent, in awe. My brother was standing in the driveway, wearing my grandfather's clothes. They fit him perfectly, except for being an inch too long in the hem. Oh. Wow. How'd you get the suitcase open? I asked. It wasn't locked, he said. It opened right up. Isn't this the coolest sweater? What can I say? Those clothes were meant to be his. I was nine years old and I had a dream that I got home from a friend's house, and as I opened the door, out of the corner of my eye I see a grey rat scamper along the side of my house, so I stand there a second just watching it. Then I look down and a rattlesnake was right next to my leg. Of course I panic and step back, but the snake strikes and bites my leg. I scream and roll around and my leg burns, even in the dream it burned. My father comes out and sees me on the ground and I tell him I was bit by a rattlesnake. He rushes me to the hospital. Time gets real malleable, and I don't remember traveling to the hospital or checking in, but I end up on a bed and very distinctly getting a couple doses of antivenom but it is too late, I die, and I see my mother crying while holding my hand. I watch for a few minutes, then I wake up. Weird ass nightmare, right? But nothing to freak about. So I go about my day, play with my friends, and whatnot. When I was walking home that evening, I just randomly though about my dream, so I stopped a bit away from the door and actually looked around where the snake was in the dream. Mother Ducker was exactly where I dreamt he was and basically staring at me, but never does rattle. Then a ducking rat goes darting down the side of my house. I change course and go to the front door instead. I tell my dad about the snake. He goes out and kills it with a shovel. I haven't had another dream that vivid of the future since. Shit still freaks me out though. About 9 years ago, I was searching our file cabinet for a document I needed. I had piles of papers all over the bed, searched for an hour, meticulously. Could not find it. Suddenly, the TV across the room, which is not on, makes a clicking noise. I stop what I'm doing, look up and over at the TV. I see nothing out of the ordinary, so I turn back to the pile of papers, and the document I had been searching for is right on top, like it was placed there. I looked up, said thank you, and put away the papers I didn't need. I was stopped for the night at a truck stop in the desert, 60 miles east of El Paso, DX. This truck stop only has lights around the store and fuel pumps, the truck parking area is only lit by any headlights that are left on. I get to bed at about 11 thinking it'll be a nice quiet night. At around 11.30 I wake up to a tapping on my truck, like someone was trying to wake me up. I ignore it and try to go back to sleep, but the tapping gets louder and louder and eventually turns into the sound similar to someone beating their hand on my door and cab. I get out of bed and open the curtains to the side I heard the sound coming from and there was nothing there. I open the curtains on the other side, and nothing there either. There was no trucks on either side of me. So I throw my shoes on 
grab my machete and flashlight and go outside to see what the hell was going on. There was nothing, no footprints, no paw prints, absolutely nothing there. I get back in my truck and turn in my side markers, so I'm somewhat illuminated. Close the doors, lock them, and run my seat belts through the door handle and buckle them in, to add essentially another lock to both doors. I go back to bed, and wake up at 6.30. The sun is starting to come out, so I go inside for some coffee, and breakfast before heading out. Other truck drivers were in there, and experienced the same thing I did that night. With no answers as to what it was. I finish my breakfast and nope the duck out of there. Recently, I was on the couch watching something and I heard a crash from my washer and dryer room. My cat also shot up and looked in the direction of the door. It sounded like a broom fell over, or maybe one of the plastic tubs. Freaked me out as I already don't really like that room in the first place, plus it was very late at night and I live alone. Also because of the pull string door that leads to the creepy ass attic. Decided I was not going to be like every idiot in a horror movie and investigate what the noise was. I literally sat there on my couch for hours. The next day, I decided I had enough courage to take a peek and literally saw nothing touched. Both brooms were still propped up against the wall. All the plastic tubs were sitting perfectly. I have no idea what that noise was and I don't really care to find out. As a kid, I had an imaginary friend who I would play with a lot. I had few real friends but I was also more of an outcast in daycare and kindergarten so sometimes, that imaginary friend was all I had. My mother said I'd always describe him as very similar looking. When I was around preschool age, my mother said we needed to talk about my friend and I said that I'm fine with keeping Joshua around because I was scared of starting school alone. Her face just froze in shock and she never brought it up again. I didn't realize why until my grandma explained years later that I had a twin brother who didn't make it and my parents were planning on naming him Joshua. The only logical explanation I have is that I picked it up when I was very little but my grandma said that my parents literally never talked about it because they didn't cope well with the loss at all. It's still very strange. Once I had a dream where I was picking up the paper from the porch, and a piece on page 1 said something like the lions are in town and thought when I woke up what a stupid dream. The next morning I picked up the paper from the porch, and a piece on page 1 said something like the lions are in town. The capitalization was indeed different, but that was pretty much the only difference. This is the only time anything like this has happened to me. When I was a kid, pre-teens, I would see a silhouette of a person standing on my doorway from time to time late at night. The figure never entered the room but just kinda stood there and didn't move. Normally I'd just hide under the covers because its presence terrified me. I know that it wasn't a dream because my brother who is the same age can verify that he often saw the same thing. Because my brother saw it too and oftentimes the same night, that disproved that it could have been my imagination or a hallucination or even a dream. Also, the figure was taller than anyone else who lived in the house and I also saw it at my grandparents' house. So it couldn't have been someone in my family either. I haven't seen it in years now, but I never really found an explanation for it. I was laying in bed one morning, and I felt pure evil on the foot of my bed. I can't explain it, but it terrified and paralyzed me, making me like a deer in headlights. My heart dropped and I felt the need to escape. It was early in the morning and my late husband was playing WoW on the computer in the living room. After a few minutes, I mustered the energy to run the duck out of my room. I ran to my husband and grabbed him, sobbing about this thing. Not even 30 seconds later we heard the smoke alarm go off and it smelt like sulfur and an electrical fire in the part of the room I felt that thing. Then, about a minute later, the smell passed. There was no fire, nothing amiss, and everything was fine. I didn't feel that thing anymore and it just went away. I never felt anything like that before or since, and I had a witness so I know I didn't imagine the whole thing. I simply can't explain it. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.